Hello everybody, it's Karen from Valori Huntress. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's very important but may not have crossed your mind or maybe your friend's mind or maybe even a family member. So, if you shoot rifles, handguns, even BB guns, even archery, you need to understand these rules of being outside. Yes, you don't always get an option of going to a range and maybe you're out camping like we are and you wanna go shooting. We brought our bows, for instance. Rules of firearm safety will no matter what, always and forever, still apply. Safety is safety and you guys need to understand. Maybe you guys aren't the problem, maybe you guys are really safe, but maybe you know somebody that is not being safe. So, for instance, here's where we're camping at. We came up into camp and we the first thing we noticed was this. This here is a target. First of all, that target is put on there by a bolt. So metal, first of all, yeah. Straight in the center, into a tree that is maybe this thick, maybe, maybe. Here's problem number two. It is not a full background to have the projectile against to help slow it down or disperse the object. Here's problem number three. There's a road right here, but there's a road that splits off and goes right down in there. You can see it right there. It runs straight through here. Well, what is that right there? That's the target pointing at a road. It doesn't matter if it's dirt, gravel, or even just halfway to the point of not being a road anymore. It doesn't matter. It's still a non-safe direction because it's not going to catch the bullet or the BB or the arrow. It's not safe at all, end of story. Also when you do this is, you're not sure where the bullet's gonna end up when you do something like this. It could be going on further and further. It could hit a car with somebody in it. It could be going further past the trees, just missing absolutely everything and keep going. And there could be somebody camping down in that valley and they could get hurt. It's somebody not being safe. This is very important. No matter what, I don't care if it's you that are that's doing this. I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's family. I don't care if you don't even know somebody. If you see somebody doing this, you need to inform them of how unsafe it is. And if they don't listen, call the cops, call the game wardens, call the rangers. You need to make them understand that this is not safe and people's lives will be impacted from stupidity. Just because there's nobody out here right now that I can see or hear does not mean somebody can get hurt. You need to be safe, guys. Also, there's a second one. When you walk right over here, this one right here, there is one right there. But here's the thing. This here direction, you're pointing it up. Up. You never ever shoot up when there's no background. Yes, the tree is larger than the last one, which thank you for that, but what if you miss? You need to be up against something that's like a dirt mound like you see at gun ranges and things. There's also campers right over there. What if you shoot one of them? What if your friend shoots one of them? These are safety things that everybody who is driving out in the wilderness needs to realize and needs to understand. Doesn't matter if you're just a passerby and you are against guns. If you see somebody doing this, you need to inform them for public safety. This is why gun owners get bad reps because of people doing stupid things. Well, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys learned a lesson. If you guys didn't need this lesson, but you know somebody that does, please send them this message. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying this because people will get hurt. If it's not from you, it could be somebody else doing it or it could be one of the people that you love getting hurt. People need to be aware of the safety. Everybody does. Even if you're not a gun owner or you don't choose to be a gun owner, but you see this, it's still your responsibility to make sure people are safe because you're in that same area. What if it was you? Hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and have a great day.